<laughs> it's like urban archaeology. There's some old arbor vitae that look like a kind of dooryard ornament. I came up this little slip of a vernacular trail to intersect with this more pronounced and noticeable trail. Don't know what it is yet. I think what I'll do is this park is divided into little prospect and big prospect hills. This sort of looks like old city park infrastructure. You have some kind of little quaint faux Adirondack shelter. This almost looks like it might have been a grilling cookout pit or something. It's a nice find. I mean, I'm in this city <laughs> once again. I really am. Oh yeah, there's kind of a wino hangout and a, maybe an old well pit, who knows, some abandoned clothes. Old stone wall. Oh yeah, and see now that's a, that's a Spanish bayonet, a yucca. It's a common landscape ornament, garden plant from a certain period, probably the 1920s or something. It's just gone wild. It's a type of agave or something. That thing was. I'm going to follow this thing here and roughly over this way. See if I can't find these views noted on the map. Looks like another kind of urban hobo jungle zone, or maybe just a place for people to hang out and get drunk. Oh, it's a vernal pond. There are a number of these noted. The map for this is a pretty good quality for these kind of jurisdictions. or trail markings. And I'm just guessing and winging it. I 
I suppose I can just follow the blue beer cans. That must be the weird little wine house shelter. <laughs> Cut down some of these scrub pines. Yeah, I came through a funny little trail grid. I think I'm on what's called the Buttrick Trail, uh, according to park parlance. I just talked to a cool local walking his dog. Get a sense of the place. It's pretty quiet. It is really one of the great notable open space resources in the urban core. I mean, just look at the, all of this distance. You can't see houses. You can hear the highway off in the distance, but you essentially have this killer spot. I'll return to this course because it's great to have something like this <clears throat> that's a short bus ride from where I live. Today I just wanted to get an initial sense of it and the dog walker guy I met indicated View options over this way for the city of Boston skyline. So I'll see what I can make of that. <laughs> this is just a ball, and it isn't too pummeled by vandals and what have you. If you gave it some minimal blazing and signage few other things. Basically it's an unusual situation where they have a pretty high quality map but the stuff on the ground is virtually non-existent. So it's the sort of thing that probably in these recessionary budget stress times isn't really high on the order of urgency facing the city of Waltham. 